Hey, how's it going guys? Happy holidays and welcome to episode 23 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Just got a lamp from the genie, so I'm gonna pop that. So I just got myself 40 herbler from that, another level 40 skill, cool. Now I'm getting a little bit closer to making stuff like super attacks that are gonna come in handy. So I just finished up a bit of agility training, got myself to 57. Yeah, still pretty far behind from 70, but this will be a good stopping point because I now have enough to get myself a graceful top. There we go, starting off today's grind with some uh, Jody. I think the next few days I'll be grinding a Jody a bit harder because obviously XP is getting higher, so gotta compensate with more Jody grinding. Oh shit! 80 strength, man. First level 80 skill on this account. That's super awesome achievement, man. And that got me to a 93 combat as well, man. That's awesome. But wait, there's more! 80 hit points. Basically two back-to-back -back level 80 skills. Jesus. That is so, so nice. This is uh, number 6 hard clue that I'll be completing. So here it goes. I haven't used Badoodle today, so let's use it. Badoodle! Oh, dang. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, baby. 75 magic, guys. And I actually didn't see any of the achievement stuff, but I definitely unlocked some cool things. Definitely trident. I will be able to uh, use that, but of course, no trading yet. Gotta wait till 87 Slayer, but hey, cool. Well, guys, we are here now at the 100th barrel chest. Is it gonna be a good one? We will have to see in about right now. Oh, okay. Well, shouldn't expect anything at this point. I've already gotten so many items. But yeah, not bad. A milestone, I guess, guys. 100 chests. How many will it take for the tank, legs, and helmets? 200? I hope it's no more than that. Not bad, not bad. Just got myself 79 range, guys. Quite enjoying the AFK Slayer range, you know, with the uh, Slayer helmet build. And anyways, I am probably going to get 80 range, another level 80 skill coming up, maybe within a few days. Oh, rip. Didn't even realize that I was about to hit 60 at Jody, but yeah, we got it now, so... I can move on to something better. So I just checked and it is on the 20th level. So if you're 20 levels or more past the course's uh, starting level, then you get 20% uh, reduced mark spawns there. So since I have reached the limit, it's time to uh, move over to Sears. 61 agility, that'll be it for today. But yeah, Sears course is such a big improvement from Cannabis. Definitely getting uh, close to 30k an hour versus like, you know, 20k at Canifis, so huge improvement. Nine more to go, guys. Let's do it. First chest of uh, the day, guys. Here we go. 103. Oh my god! What? Holy hell, man. I didn't get anything last night, but wow, that surely made up for it. Okay, 112. No! The curse is back. No big deal, guys. It's okay. Yo, check this out, guys. 71 Slayer, man. All from basically F King, I think. That means one level to go, and then I unlock Skeletal Wyverns, man. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna go back to F King though much. Because I'd be down to F K a lot more at the Slayer monsters that got buffed more recently, like Necrails and all that stuff. So we will see once I hit 72. Awesome guys, just hit 76 magic. So I'm just back at Dust Devils for just a little bit of AFK. So I've been doing a lot of agility recently and I now have enough marks to buy everything else. So let's go ahead and get everything else. The hood and lastly, the cape as well, perfect. Now I can do a serious agility course a bit more efficiently because I don't have to worry about, you know, walking. Since the full graceful is gonna regen my run energy a bit faster. And that will be the last agility level for a little bit. 64 agility. So I got lots of clue scrolls from fishing uh, later last night. Got myself all the way 73 fishing. Got a medium clue, an elite clue, and also easy clue. Dang, two step easy clue. Here we go. Oh my god. Wow, I feel so bad for my friend, dude. Like, this is nice for me. Unique item, but damn, dude. One of my really good friends, he's struggling to get this for elite clue he spent like 300 easy clues and haven't gotten it yet rip this is a fifth step hard clue long as hell but 
hopefully there's something good with this one. Wow. Oh, baby. That, that is awesome, man. So far, so good on the Clue Scroll grind. Two god pages. We've made it pretty far in this Elite Clue, guys. Stem number four, but I gotta talk to, you know, the Sherlock. So, Sherlock, what we got? What we got today? Super Defense Potion. My god. I know Super Defense is 66. Damn, that means at the very minimum. I need to get 61. I'm at 40 Herbler. That would be a trek. Okay, it's been a few days I've invested in uh, Kingdom. Actually, probably more than a week, so... I'm gonna go and check out my uh, resources. Ooh, baby! Lots and lots of herbs, but... Honestly, man, I don't think I have anywhere near enough for 61 Herbler, man. So, I guess... For this clue scroll, I'll probably just, you know, wait it out. Let it say my bank, and uh, whenever I do get 61 herb, I will go ahead and uh, finish this. Surprise, surprise, guys. I just finished Ghost Ahoy. Now, you might be wondering what took me so long to do this. It's because I actually never needed to do this quest until now. Just because I'm now going to be, you know, farming a lot, I want to get access to all the convenient uh, herb patches. So that's almost everything done. Just need the last one at Trollheim. Now that is what I'm talking about guys, 116 tiers, that's awesome, 2 weeks of 100 plus, and how many construction levels, wow, I got 4 construction levels, that's awesome man, 34 construction, and since all my skills are now 30 plus, that means anytime I do tiers of guthics, from now on it's going to be double the experience per drop, that is really good, looking forward to next week. Oh, there it is, the gal tuber is still there guys, I must get it. Yes, that is awesome. Got myself a freaking Gal Tuber while uh, getting the Table 1 in favor for my own big adventure. So I'll probably end up uh, needing this for uh, Crimes of Diaries if I ever get around to doing it. So that's really nice. A pretty good fight. First time ever trying out a mage against the giant rock. And yeah, it worked pretty good. Alright, that's a lot of experience, guys, from this quest. And yes, I was supposed to finish this quest a while ago, but uh, yeah, got so sidetracked, but 41 farming and 43 herbler awesome out of the 61. So I have now officially unlocked every single herb patch except the one that you get from Mauritania Elite Diaries. Of course, I'm not going to be getting that anytime soon. So I managed to get like 70 something nests just mainly from Kingdom and I opened them all up, got myself a lot of good seeds. So the reason why I opened them up is so I can train my farm a bit quicker, man. I can't even like grow a lot of these herb seeds that I want. Like freaking Eretz at 44. So yeah, just gonna grow a few trees here and then. I should be uh, getting the levels that I need to grow all my herb seeds. So this is one of the newer farming spots that came out of Zaya. And once you have 50% Hosidius favor, all these patches are, I believe, disease free. And yeah, this alongside the Trollheim one is going to be really good for planting like really uh, expensive or rare seeds. So I'm going to be planting like my Renards exclusively at these two patches so I don't waste them. Dang, got 59 prayer from freaking baby dragon bones. That's so good though. One more to go and then I can use chivalry. But yeah, I plan on probably uh, unlocking those prayers once I get it because why not, right? Flicking chivalry is better than flicking whatever I got right now. Just finished my 90th task for a dragon dagger. Not bad. Look at this, guys. All this money you see here, just from alking from this task. So I killed about 160 for my task. 250k, so it seems like, yeah, easy 200k per task doing dust levels. So guys, hopefully in the next video, I'll finally be able to wrap up my barrel grind so I can move on to DKs. But the thing that isn't going to be RNG is definitely the grind for the herbler and the agility for the master clue scrolls and whatnot but i wanted to obviously have more content out for this episode but because this week has been a pretty festive week i've spent a lot of time just you know with family and friends even if i don't have a normal iron man out within like two days i'll you know try to put some other interesting videos out so with that being said guys i will be reintroducing my normal iron man revy soon at least for raids and to start off, I will be putting out a bank video showcase of my normal Iron Man so that everyone will understand, you know, what is it that I have, you know, what I've achieved thus far in the normal Iron Man. So regardless if you're a new or veteran viewer, you guys will all be on the same page. 
So the normal Iron Man should be pretty damn interesting with the return of raids guys. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with future videos, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, definitely give it a like as well. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.